Hi everyone, this is Lara Silverfox. And in today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial in changing our clothes. And if you guys have noticed, I have changed my outfit and I did remove my horns and everything. It's already nighttime and I need to go to sleep. <laughs> so I felt like, you know, wanting to change my look. It's still me but with a different outfit. Now, this is going to be really easy. It just takes like a little bit of work around to get used to how to do it and it's going to be free. You don't need any form of um, technical knowledge to do this. You just need to know the setup on how to make it work on VTube Studio. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Also, please do know that what I'm wearing right now is a free uh, VTuber asset that I have downloaded in Booth. I will link down below if you guys are interested. This is a limited time free download, so I highly suggest you guys to check it out if you guys are interested. Also, there's going to be a lot of VTuber assets that a lot of wonderful artists and creators are, you know, always posting online. And you can you know, choose whatever outfits that you prefer. You don't need to rig them on Live 2D to be able to wear it. You can actually use that on VTube Studio completely free. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing next. Okay. So once you actually go here into your VTube studio, as you guys can see, I have already did a lot of the changes. But uh, do know that to be able to change your outfit, it does require some form of creativity, I would say to myself. And I'll explain that to you guys as we go along. So double click. Uh, your settings so you can open the navigation area over here and go to settings uh, first I will need to remove this because this is a PNG item actually so uh, sorry <laughs> there you'll see two stars over here you can click the first star and then you have an option to actually remove all items from the scene. And this is going to remove this item. Now, if you guys can see, this is what it looks like underneath. So basically, I have removed the art meshes that I have temporarily. It's not going to be removed entirely from your model. So you don't need to be very much alarmed. And please do know that you will need to like know the TOS of your own model. If the creator is allowing you to create changes in your model, especially if you're downloading a free model or even with a paid model, basically. So just make sure that um, the creator is allowing you to do so or else, you know, you might um, face some form of issues but um, anyway so I had to make them all transparent is what I actually did you can do that by going to the settings menu and over here to the third icon of the area wherein there is a, like a human figure kind of thing um, you just go here to the customize model you click that and you go here to customize multiply slash screen color for art meshes. And this is actually where the magic happens once the loading uh, finally kicks in. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have a lot of things have checked out. So if you are starting, you know, if you have never done this before, this will be all unticked. So you will need to do everything from scratch. So I'll just um, remove quite a few things over here. As you guys can see, little by little, they're all showing up. So um, the difficult part here is that um, there <laughs> you will need to do them one by one. <laughs> you know. So what I usually would do is that. I will just focus on what I wanted to wear, what I wanted to look like. And I will just highlight and click on them directly and find my way, whatever is connected to it. So basically over here, I will try to try this one. And then um, basically once you like uh, drag colors over here, you will be able to find out what... Um, 
what area of your model it is being affected. So as you guys can see, this one is at the neck. So I'll put it over there. That's not what I'm looking for. Um, so and uh, this is not it as well. So that's the difficult part because it's all numbers. It's really hard to find out. Um, so this is the issue with my model. It's because I think the uh, creator forgot to separate them or maybe it was intentionally done as such. So I can never detach them, um, unfortunately. So I will try to contact the creator for this. If it's possible to get it fixed or I can do it myself because he does allow it. And I do have the PSD anyway. So, um, yeah. Uh, but so far, that's how it goes. So, if, if, for example, you do have a model that the body is attached to, like, the clothing... Um, you will just need to be very creative, especially if you have a clothing that's like, you know, um, shows a lot of skin because um, if you try to make this transparent and you can do this by um, putting this into a visible area or you can also use a uh, green screen if you want because if you bring this to OBS, sometimes it will show as black. So it's always better to just go with green screen. But uh, for the most part, I just go with white. And then you go here to the A, letter A over here, and you drag this one over here. So as you guys can see, it's now invisible. So it's now transparent. So I just click OK, and then you click OK, and it's already transparent. And you will just do this to all of the areas that you want to like um, have some form of transparency, basically. Just like just like so so that's I, I usually just focus on on those things like what are the things that i can hide um depends on the clothing that i'm using so i would just be focusing on that of course if you have like you know if you can actually remove all of them then that's like the best way to to go for the most part um one that it's just like very tricky here is that you will need to activate all of the art meshes, I would say. Um, that is the most ideal. So you will need to activate all of the... Um, um, how done? Let me just click it again. I'm just doing this on the go, actually. Um, so you will need to activate all of the art meshes. But um, what is uh, what I would advise you guys to do is to not put it on green screen, uh, but go with white if you can. Um, and then, you know, make sure that this one is on black. So once that is happening, uh, whatever art mesh that you are selected is a standalone. It does not form any form of changes. So I'll give you an example over here. So I am clicking here over my shoulder area. Uh, and as you guys can see, if I use a different color, it turns into that color. So if I go with white, it will just, you know, be as is. Because we are using the multiplying screen, so it's not really going to change. Um, so, and over the screen area, I'll just go with black because that is the normal one. And it will activate as so. Why you want to do this is because later on, for you to not do every art meshes one by one each time that you wanted to change your outfits, you would want to go here to the fourth tab into the expression editor area and you would want to create your own art meshes. Now, if you deactivate your art meshes, just like what I did earlier, um, basically, like, if you notice over here, the art mesh are counted by two, which means I only activated two art meshes. So I prepared this, like, um, I actually messed up <laughs> with this one because I was doing a lot of, like, uh, trial and error. So what I've noticed is that if you deactivate them, the art meshes, also you can click the art meshes by creating a new editor and just go with um, art mesh. Uh, 
where is it? Uh, where is it? Uh, there is an option here for art meshes. Uh, which is here art mesh color preset and that is what you want and just click select and then yeah and then you will you will just click on record and if you guys can see i click record now it's now recording 32 settings so um well that is like one of the really neat ways of doing things and it look if I click on the tab where and I put the key, uh, the key combination, I just click on tab, um, my outfits are going to come back. And this is because I'm using the white um, color uh, for all the transitions on that area. So now let's go ahead and try to bring up our item by clicking it like so. And it's going to be very tricky. Um, as you guys can see, because remember that my model is actually has holes because it's not fully showing my skin. And um, depending on the clothing that you are going to be choosing, uh, you might have some form of a tricky scenario whenever, you know, you move around with your tracking. So you will need to be quite creative, if I would say so myself and how you do this also by scrolling up and down your mouse you can actually make it like uh, bigger or smaller so like for me i usually before i actually pin it to my avatar i would usually try to work around on how i would want this to to work um so i would like personally i would um find a way to like you know make it like not so obvious that i have <laughs> some form of weird hole inside of my body so um it it does require some form of ex experimentation so i highly suggest that that's what you guys do um but um yeah it is a free item you know you can actually purchase this um they give they give you like a live model kind of thing uh if that's what you prefer uh by going to the creator's website which i will link down below but um yeah if you feel that it's all good like i think i prefer this one a little bit better so um yeah mm -hmm. Uh, uh, I just double click this and now it's set in place it feels as if this is now <laughs> my body right so it doesn't look like um, it doesn't look that I just pinned it down and it gives that feeling we're in it has some form of rigging right uh, and you know it's a really really good item to take a photo on and stuff like that and you will end up like a totally different kind of person um especially if you remove certain things and that's actually something that you can personally do especially if you are downloading a free model or if you have a paid model but you want it to be much more personalized especially if it's a paid model that is you know purchased by a lot of people or used by a lot of people so um that's just one thing that you would want to do is to click on the customize area and work your way around it <laughs> so it's really really hard to mess this up the only problem is that you know don't work around on how you can get it done but um yeah that's basically it and if you want to remove this item you can just you know double click on it and then click on the one star over there and just you know remove all items from the scene and then just click the tab again um if you did the uh, the shortcut in our expressions area and um voila you're now back to normal <laughs> Uh -huh. and i can actually it, um sorry <laughs> i can actually bring up my jacket again <laughs> with my wings and everything <laughs> 
And um, yeah, so that's the the way to change your clothing or item and whatever that you wish to do so. And you know, you can literally get rid of your default clothing if you want and use a different set. Um, it will actually work with anything because for the most part the only thing that you really want to get really moving is your your eyes your 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 mouth you know your face that's where all the rigging is and also your hair uh for but for the most part our clothing and everything like that can be changed with that so that is actually part of the recent update of VTube Studio. It's been quite a while, so I'm quite surprised that there was not much tutorial that I've seen so far. And so I had to experiment on it as well uh, myself because I had a little bit of a tough time with that. But um, yeah, uh, <laughs> I hope you have fun with that and learn something new at the very least. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please do hit the like, subscribe, and do comment below. And yeah, um, that's it for me. And I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.